a few days ago i made a video talking about lindsay after her ex's girlfriend came forward and exposed her and lindsay has responded she accused her ex's girlfriend of being a liar she also revealed in a live last night that she plans to get her ex's name covered up so she has chaos tatted on her arm. So Lindsay is upset with chaos after she found out that his girlfriend ran to the blogs, aka me, spilling tea on Lindsay. And she's also not too happy because she's accusing her ex of leaking her nudies. I asked him one on one about this. He denies this. But let's go ahead and see this video she made last night on her Instagram. That time I got my ex's name tatted on me. And let my live viewers vote whether to cover it or leave it. I got this tattoo almost a year. October? Almost a year. It's been forever. It's been a long time. And then he leaked my nudes. And then he had his girlfriend go to the vlogs and talk crap about me. We have decided that we're going to let y'all vote if I should get his name covered up. If everybody votes, thumbs up. Okay, so she just got this tattoo a year ago. I thought this was a tattoo she's had for a while. Up. Oh. For me to cover this tattoo, I'm gonna go get this tattoo covered tonight. Poll is up. This is the name. It's a nickname. It's a really crappy ex's nickname. I told her not to get it. She did tell me not to get it. <laughs> I felt so bad because he tattooed my name on his face. <laughs> He's got the generic. It seems like anytime a man decides to tattoo a girl's name on his face, they always go for the same spot. That's where Maurice has Mandy's name tattooed. And I think that's also, who was the other one? Dustin, where Dustin got Jessica's name tatted. He tattooed my name on his forehead. Maybe the pose will say take it off. They're saying yes. So far, they're saying cover it, shade it out. Let me see. He took my money. He did take my money. Honestly, the stuff with chaos, I was just like really rebounding off of the Blaine relationship. Just being deadly honest. <laughs> That's really what it was. It was lonely. I didn't know how to handle it. And Chaos was just like the first. To pick up he faces. was. He was just the first person to like entertain me, honestly. <laughs> okay. It's 100% yes. Chaos apparently has been in the picture for a while. She allegedly shot him years ago back in 2015 while they're together and he is currently in prison and she got with him as a rebound after blaine and i guess deontay said when he saw my video talking about him deontay was like i had problems with that same dude not like directly one-on-one -on -one, but he said that Lindsay would not leave this dude alone he was always calling and deontay didn't really like it but Lindsay continued to keep picking up his phone calls so chaos has been an ongoing problem in Lindsay's relationships for a while and i wonder if she did the same with blaine so do you guys remember when everyone was giving Lindsay a hard time when she was going to pick up drug debts and people were like when she asked somebody for money she's like oh you better have it you know you're lucky that you had it or something like that and people are like well what were you gonna do if you didn't have it you're on probation you're in front of tv cameras and then she posted a clip of her and some other people pretty much beating on this dude because he allegedly owed her some money and i got the full clip she only shared part of the clip and i got more of the clip so this is all this is back from a few years ago but Lindsay did share this probably about towards the end of her and blaine season so she probably shared this probably about four months ago or so but she did not share the full clip so let's go ahead and watch the full clip and warning it is a little graphic you know this is definitely not something you want to watch in front of your kids or anything like that i can't take oh. no more hands huh? I don't need them all here tonight. I'm going to see you. Huh? I'm going to throw my rail. Please stop for a minute, Wait, please. So he accused him of breaking his rib, and I believe they did say he had to go to the hospital afterwards because please of his rib. Please stop for a minute. <laughs> Well, and I believe this is Lindsay filming on her phone. Oh, my money was on Lindsay's phone. Huh? I'm telling you the truth. Oh, no. Please call me a damn lizard. Oh, I can't. Oh. 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 Oh.
Stupidity uh, hurts, don't it? And I think this is like where her clip originally cut off at. God, you broke the stick now. TC, go get the phone so we can uh, hear chaos. Uh -huh. Okay, there's chaos. She was asking about chaos. She said, grab the phone so we can hear chaos. So that's her ex right there. Man, you broke it, Jerry. And I never lied to you. I never lied to you. Then fine. If you didn't lie, then, you then look lie. at me. If you didn't lie, no. then you're getting beat for being stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I ain't, I ain't lying. I promise to God I'm not lying. Please help me fix this. Please, I'm begging you. Trust me one time in your life and this time and you'll see. Okay, how about this? I'll stop this right now. We'll call it even. You give me the other pointer finger. No, I can't. Okay, so she says if you give us your pointer finger, I guess, cut it off. If you let us cut it off, then we'll leave you alone. Yeah, I'm on this. Sorry. You know, I didn't want to lose $1,400. I didn't want to lose the respect of half the hood. You helped me get it. I know all. <laughs> and this is why you don't go off front people money. We're getting debts that you can't pay off. But that is the full video. I guess apparently they were threatening to cut off this dude's pointer finger. I don't believe that happened. I didn't hear about him being hospitalized for that. I just heard he was hospitalized allegedly for broken ribs. I have not seen the actual cover-up yet of Lindsay's tattoo, but I'm sure she will be showing it off soon. But that is it for this video, guys. Lindsay has dated numerous dudes who have been in prison since breaking up with Blaine, and she just needs to be careful because some of these dudes she has histories with selling and using. I wonder if Lindsay is purposely trying to date dudes who are in prison so once they get out, she can be on the show again. But I think it's likely because she can relate to them. They have similar past. But she better be careful because if she, one of these dudes gets out and goes back to that lifestyle, that can easily be the downfall of her and she's right back to where she started. It's a, quite a gamble when you're dating someone who's in prison and if you don't know if they're ready to actually turn their lives around once they get out. And, but let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.